Nora my Hoggett, Kahirla. I first of all want to thank you for your kind words at the beginning and, and referencing my late father and your many visits to the, the Wee Thatch Cottage in Rossna Cale and Donegal. Um, I suppose it's true to say our family goes back about a century, thereabouts. Uh, it's a fair length of time. Um, I have no doubt that you'll serve your position extremely well and proudly, and I'm sure it's a very humble day for yourself and a proud day also for your, for your dad and your brother that's here to, uh, to witness it for you. Can I um, acknowledge um, my, my two other colleagues that, that contest the election this morning with you, the dignity with which all three of you contest that election and accept the result. Uh, it says a lot about our, our party and, and how things uh, augur for, for the next uh, term ahead. Um, I suppose I hadn't envisaged making a, a maiden speech today, uh, but here I am. Um, I would like to dedicate uh, my few words to former, my former Director of Elections, uh, Desi Larkin, Councillor Desi Larkin, um, who, who is no longer with us. Um, but I'd also like to dedicate my words um, to, to someone that still is around, um, and that's former Senator Jimmy Hart. Um, he was a colleague of mine when we first elected in the Council together. Jimmy had a, an accident while being a senator in this house uh, in 2013, and uh, he's doing very well and, and still around the hill and hearty, and we're glad to, see, glad to hear it and see it. Um, Kehirla, I've, I've listened with intent um, on my first day in Shannon Aaron um, to, to all that's been said by, by many speakers. Um, I've, um, I suppose, over the weekend witnessed media attention uh, and some of the speakers today referencing the fact um, that the West of Ireland is still needing representation uh, at government level. Um, I have to say, um, from someone that's been in politics for, for a while, even though still a young man, um, sometimes you do need to take a, a deep breath. And I think in this case, in, in relation to, to, to the government, um, proposals that are coming forward uh, in relation to, to ministerial positions. Uh, I think it's true to say that we're just halfway, and I am confident that the Western Seaboard, and particularly from Donegal to Limerick, uh, will be well represented when all is said and done. Um, I've listened also to, to colleagues talk uh, in relation to um, Northern Voices not being at the table within the Senate, uh, and I suppose I acknowledge that. But for me, what is very, very pleasing uh, as a Republican and a Northern voice in this Shannon, um, some would refer to where I live as being north of the north. Um, but for me, the very pleasing aspect of this program for government, um, as they approach the program for government, is taken in relation to Northern Ireland. For many years, um, I battled with many other politicians to try to get recognition for Northern Ireland. For too many years, national development plans, North and South, have ignored each other to the extent that health services have failed, infrastructure has failed, many departments have failed because there hasn't been a joint of approach. For me, this is the first time that a government is aiming to move forward with a joint approach, a shared approach. And while we may not have the voices for this term uh, within Shannon Aaron, I think all voices, all representatives north and south, are going to have an opportunity with a new unit that's been set, to be set up in the Tisha's office, um, which is to have a, a joint departmental approach north and south uh, and building our infrastructure and building our community and building our island, our island a shared island. And like any Republican, um, I share an aspiration of a shared future together. Um, I'm not someone that's necessarily any more comfortable with the word United Ireland because I don't think it's respectful of all traditions within the island. But I think all under the auspices of the Good Friday Agreement. Um, the Good Friday Agreement, uh, as far as I'm concerned, has taken a backward step since the Stormont um, Assembly was, was taken down. Um, I think it damaged the Good Friday Agreement. Um, but I believe the steps have been taken in the programme for government as an opportunity for all voices all representatives, north of the border and south, to start approaching this island on a shared basis and ensure all departments match up 
to ensure all our people north and south, all traditions are looked about. And I think in doing that, and as a Republican, not a Republican that classes himself such by maybe wrapping himself in a flag, I'm the type of Republican, um, as Republican is meant, is meant to be, someone that's uh, coming from the point of view that there should be a shared approach. Um, there should be an all-island approach. Uh, there should be a voice for everybody at the table. And I believe this approach with the new unit that teaches office allows that. I hope this House embraces it. And I look forward with um, optimism uh, what comes off that, because uh, um, I no longer want to see um, those national development plans that were created in the past that showed a blank for six counties in Northern Ireland. And being where I am from in Donegal, we lost out heavily as a result because geographically we're so attached to Northern Ireland and not totally cut off from the south, but our geography, our, our geography uh, leaves us quite cut off uh, in, the, in the fact that those national development plans never recognised Northern Ireland. I suppose the, the N2A5 is one example of that, and, and thankfully that is heavily addressed in, in the programme for government. So I look forward to working with all colleagues, um, with our new uh, party leader, uh, Senator Chambers, a uh, new um, leader of the House, and uh, all colleagues uh, in a cohesive way uh, and a manner that's uh, about looking at about all our people, all their interests, and moving uh, our island uh, forward in a shared way. And for me, that is exciting. I look forward to it. Thanks, Gary. Thank you.